Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Victoria and I are going out to take care of the chickens. But things I've learned about chickens. One, they drink a lot of water. So I filled up the water, uh, taking it out to uh, redo their watering pan. Eventually I'll get the automatic waterer. But the other thing I learned about them is uh, they drink a lot, they poop a lot, and they like to dig holes. I'll show you here in a second, but sorry for the shaking. I'm trying to hold it. Uh, there used to be a gate here. Uh, I took the gate off a while back because it was the pole started leaning and the gate wasn't being able to close at all and everything. So I, God blessed me and I was able to use the gate in the backyard. But since the gate's missing, this became their favorite spot when I let them out in the evenings. And this is our walk-in. I collected all these rocks with uh, from the beach and everything. Driftwood over there from the beach. And then my egg rocks that are basically cement that have uh, little rocks in them. I just, every time I find them, you tend to find them like in an egg shape. Um, but yeah, they dug it up and you can see a lot of brown now that's uh, dirt. But they'll get right in here next to this fern and they'll start digging a little nesting area and set in it and they'll just leave holes everywhere. <laughs> so, I mean, they got this whole yard. When I let them out, they have three areas. Brother and Sister Christ, they have three areas where they get to roam. And they've got this whole five acres because chickens will roam in the evenings and then they'll, they know to go back to their roosting area when it gets dusk. When it gets dark enough outside, they will go back to the roosting area. They have this whole, whole five acres, but as soon as I let them out, they go straight over there for my walkway. <laughs> so eventually I'll have to get that gate fixed up one of these times. But they'll also come out here and they kick stuff all over the place. So that's the third thing I learned about them. So we're going to try to sneak through here without letting them out. Because we don't want them out. Uh, back, back, back. No, no, no. Back, back, back. Victoria is getting really good with the chickens. It's just... I have a hard time with Victoria. And what the chickens leave behind. <laughs> so... Now, Victoria doesn't really attack them at all. She's gotten really used to them, but she got too close to one, and she got it in the nose. She got a good cut in the nose. You coming, Victoria? The rooster kind of doesn't like Victoria, but they're both black, so I'm wondering if he sees Victoria's arrival or something. But, um... But yeah, right there, you can see the dirt. They start digging a hole. This is the second area. And this is the second area I'll let them out. So most days I can let them out here even in the mornings if I feel like it. As you can see, I've got my rake. Because so I've always have to keep leveling this area. They've done another spot right there. You can see the dirt. They just find spots and they'll start digging for worms and bugs. And all along here you can see them. See a couple spots there. So this is their big area. So the three things I had to learn was is they do eat pretty good too. But the food isn't the big thing. It's just that until I get an automatic water, I have this big blue thing. And I know the gate is open. But the reason I like this is when I have them inside the pen and they need water, I can just sit here and fill it up. And he's going after his food. So they dig holes. They poop a lot. And they drink a lot. The other thing I had to engineer inside the... I can finish this when I come back. But, uh... I used to have leaves in here. I threw a lot of leaves in here. But after it rained once, they started scratching a lot. And it just became, like, mush. And so, when they cut the tree down... I'll show the tree in a second. When they cut the tree down, I threw a lot of the stuff that they, they bark and everything. In here, but I just noticed something under here. This is a no egg laying zone. The sun was just shining through it. This is a no egg laying zone. Ugh, zone. <laughs> They're not supposed to be laying eggs here. They're supposed to be laying eggs in there. But inside here, I gotta put the egg down. Inside here, I had to redo a lot of the sticks because I just had the one stick there. And sometimes they'll set on it, but they had a hard time for some reason. And I ended up having to put a stick there and a stick here. So it almost looks like a... I just can't get it out far. There we go. 
it connects over there to that corner and this connects over to that one and they're starting to go in more often so in those nesting areas that's where they're supposed to lay eggs not down here on, on the mud and dirt so so I had to learn that you have to kind of figure that out these steps they're starting to get the steps down so at first I thought I had to do different steps because they were really kind of fumbling on this wood and how big it is but they're getting the hang of it so poop they drink a lot they dig holes and they don't lay eggs where they're supposed to <laughs> like I said they'll follow me thinking I'm gonna give them treats or let them out somewhere Victoria come on let's go Victoria let's go so Victoria come so so far now I've found two eggs this today and I'll show you the tree in just a second brothers and sisters in Christ right now I gotta put that really muddy nasty egg I gotta wash the eggs sometimes actually I wash them all the time but sometimes they look really bad so then we open this there's none there there's none there so I found two and now there's two more there's a third one the Lord's really been blessing me I've been getting anywhere between four to five eggs a day I gotta make some uh, egg salad sandwich I bought the fixings for it but this huge tree that we talked about uh, in one of the videos I got the tree taken out I cut some of the other small trees down threw them down here and I was like really getting on a roll so I want to take the dead tree that's right there it's got, it's got a little life in it but it's mostly dead and there's a big dead tree right there but I got well let me go up there and I start heading up to the road because the roads right up there and I started cutting stuff and I started leaving stuff behind me and by the time I got halfway up I'm like what am I gonna do I'm stuck up there and uh, so I kept trying to hot foot it all the way to the top and I don't know if you can see let's see how the zoom is on this it goes all the way through and you can see up there but I had to crawl through some thorn bushes and try to edge them down and I had to use the chainsaw to try to edge them down instead of my edge trimmer. So I'll be planning to get out here and try to get some of these smaller trees. But this was a huge tree that was leaning towards the house and had to get it cut down and everything. So so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video uh, talking with the brothers and sisters in Christ. Chickens are fun, uh, but they are a little work. And I'm really enjoying them. They're a blessing from the Lord. And I uh, just want to say uh, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you in Christ Jesus. See you in the next video.